Exploration Day 6. Well, hello there, YouTube. You may call me Danny Kicks, and welcome back to Clickman 3. Uh, this is the sixth day. This, at least the boss fight, should have been done by the fifth day. And then the next day should have been all collection, but, you know, I messed that up. Anyway, uh, this video is about half post commentary and the other half live commentary. But, I mean, this video hasn't been up for a month or two, so it's all post-commentary. But, I, I've been thinking, actually, I kind of feel like I have a little more energy doing the post-commentary. It's, it's fun to actually just watch the video and talk over it. Kind of discuss how I might have been feeling while it was happening. Because it's like... I don't exactly recall, <laughs> to be honest. But, uh... It's still fun to take a look at and see the process as it's done. Unfortunately, because it is so far apart, I can't tell you exactly what my process was or what my thought process was at the time. But I'm thinking maybe I'm going to do a couple of episodes, maybe not of Pikmin, but of anything, really. Uh, Post-commentary first, or not post-commentary first. More like no commentary and then just do the post commentary see if I like it better than doing it live doing it live is always fun but doing this post commentary right now has just been an interesting experience so I'm thinking about testing it out testing the waters seeing which one I like better anyway we gotta finish off that boss fight that 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 bat creature that bug guy he's messing with us and we gotta show him we mean business so we come back the next day to his house to beat him up. That's not a... Uh, it's not thug mentality. If I ever thugged mentality. Alright, anyway. Um, I sent those guys up to get those grapes. They'll take care of that. They'll do an automatic thing. Uh, I believe if I had opened up the closer path, they would have tried to go that way, which is... Alright to send them that way first. Anyway, this was the exploit I was talking about last episode. Uh, I shouldn't- I should have done this first before sending Britannia away, but... You know. I done goofed, it's okay. I'm allowed to done goof. So yeah, there are two or three spots with, uh... Bridge parts, and... You have to connect them in order to activate this final light bulb, which knocks him out of the sky and activates the actual boss fight. But, the yellow Pikmin fly far and, you know, just toss one of your partners across the bridge and you're good. You don't need to do all that building and bridge stuff. Work? What's work? I don't know what effort is. I put no effort into it. Alright. So, as I was explaining before, when you knock him out of the sky, he will uh, send out spores when he tries to go back into the air. And that will scatter your Pikmin, which gives him a chance to attack. But, if you knock him out of the sky and he starts to fly, he's going to find some place to rest. So, that's nothing to worry about too much. That's a bad thing that he's doing right there. He's just inhaling. and will suck all your Pikmin up. It's not fun. And lose a bunch of Pikmin that way. But just like any other flying enemy, uh, throw enough of your Pikmin on him at the same time and he'll just fall out of the sky. It's not a hard boss fight, it's just you gotta pay attention to your guys because he's focused on scattering your soldiers and that's not good. Rock Pikmin do the most on impact, so why not throw some rocks while he's resting? He can't do anything about it. I think he might have eaten a guy here. I called him too late. Yeah, he got one of my soldiers, and I was not happy. I wonder if I could have rescued him if I had thrown the yellow guys on him while he was doing that. I'm not sure myself. I know I was absolutely livid. I do remember that. It wasn't very fun. But there we go. He smacks his face into the light bulb. He was already blind as a bat, and he flew directly into the sun. Wait. Really? Captain Charlie made it! Was anybody honestly surprised? 
I am. What about my yellow Pikmin? Did you see him on the way out? Hope you did. I'm unharmed, but I must apologize for my stench. The inside of that monster's belly is no flower garden. Oh, hor, 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 hor. Yeah, okay, where's my yellow Pikmin? Until I have a chance to clean up, just breathe through your mouths. Um, I don't think that'll be any better, because I'm pretty sure we'd be able to taste it. I don't, I don't want to taste monster guts, sorry. I'm good with breathing through my nose. We found the ship, uh, first, but blah 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 wasn't reading. It's gone! Oh, the cosmic drive key, that's what they're talking about. Yeah. Everybody is doomed because we lost this key. I guess that's it. We gotta live the rest of our lives on this planet. Repopulate the, the planet with, I don't know, little, little two-inch men. But we've only got one woman. <sighs> Let me not say it like that. <laughs> Let me not say it like that. Anyway, I can't read that. That's too small on this screen. I can read it when it's on the TV. I can't read it from here. Ah, this Elam Olimar follow. Blah, blah, blah. He has our key. Yes. Okay. We got it. He must have landed on PNF. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're, we're doing a lot of dialogue here. I'm not sure I want to sit and read this because honestly, I just I don't care anymore. <laughs> I just don't. <laughs> anyway, okay, so right here, I believe. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't go straight for moving that piece of fruit. We can do that a little later. Uh, that's because this right here with 10 Pikmin, we can move that and it opens up the pathway. We can reconnect to the main stage. And you know what? It's right down the street from our ship. It literally was the short, the shortcut, the short route. I should have been doing that. I should have did that the last time, but I didn't. So I done goofed. It's okay. This guy's not fun. Send Rock Pikmin after him. I'm pretty sure we've seen him before. He can't pierce the Rock Pikmin, but like. He'll destroy everybody else. It's not a fun thing for him to be around. Alright. It's not a fun thing to be around him. Sorry. Anyway, this is around the time where I realized the mic was off. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this to... Oh, no, hold on. I guess I have to go around first. Oh, yeah, look. Even, even the guys working with the grapes are like, Hey, this would be faster to take this route. And it would. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing the grape store in the boss fight, because, once again, he's about scattering your forces, and random Pikmin are just going to be snacks. Okay, uh, yeah, this is around the time where I realized the mic was off. Go figure, the mic was off for half the episode. It's yet another, uh, Danny Kicks trope at this point. Let's see. Uh, I think we can throw, we can throw a couple guys down here, plus... Aha! We missed! It's okay. He's not all that dangerous. He just buries your guys. In fact, that can help them grow. Okay, so I think... Whoops. I can send him back. He can get the great guys. Send 
the dodge whistle. All right, this is an optional part that adds a dodging feature to the regular whistle. Yeah, everybody can tumble in a certain direction. Wow, there's even a manual with it. Let's save. Yep. Okay. Good. I don't know how useful that'll be, but um, I mean, it's a thing. You can stand there if you like. You're only gonna get the power. <laughs> Okay, so we do. We're, we're done with the grades. I say let's have some rock guys. Not all of them, though. We're gonna need, we need some rock guys. Let's switch over to Alf. Have him, uh... Oops. Yes, you are. We'll send him back to the ship with these guys. Oh man. He's gonna have to come back and pick up that mango. This has been, this has been, well, I mean, yesterday was better than today, so, I wasn't completely lying. <laughs> uh, that's oh, no. Oh, man. Come on. Alright. You know what? Might try out that dodge whistle. What are you two doing? Come on. Do your job, guys. Creep up behind the bearded amp rat to take it by surprise. Yellow Pikmin should have no problem. Yes, I know. We tried. We just failed. It's fine. This guy's an idiot. <laughs> Problem since Ouch. <laughs> wow. He took it. Captain Charlie took it. <laughs> How many did he actually lose here? I don't even know. I don't even know. We'll send Charlie back to, I don't know, the ship. Let's switch over, see what this guy can take care of. Actually, Brittany, pick up your guys, yep. Um, we'll send her to the boss room. Alf. Why are you here? I know where 
I'm sending this guy. I'm sending him here. He's gonna have to get that one stranded black Pikmin. I don't know why he's out there. We don't have enough guys to pick up that body. We'll do it next time. If it's still here. I forget how long they stay. I don't know if it's like just the day after or... I don't know. That'll be something else that they can actually pick up. How much day is left? There's a decent chunk of day left. I might try. Hmm. Alright, I'm a sender here. Oh, there is not a decent chunk of day left. I was gonna say, I might try one more boss fight. That is not a thing that we're going to do. Well, one last guy left. Well, we'll have to deal with that. <laughs> the rest, the rest will have to wait. Which is going to be a problem. I feel like maybe we could have closed that other boss fight in. Uh, we'd be able to... Where are the four stranded ones? Oh, I guess they're... Yeah. These guys. That's such great. So, commence an analysis of Strange Plant. The Ultra Spicy Berry. Large amounts of ultra spicy essence detected. Unsuitable for consumption by crew members. Ew. Yeah, the first time I saw this, I had no idea what this was actually for. Because it was like, oh, shoot, we can't eat it. I'm not collecting this. Um, this is actually pretty darn useful. It's a faster way, lady. This way. Once they're done retrieving or retrieving as much as they can, I'll be sure to, uh, be sure to collect it. <laughs> There's enough time. There's enough time. Missing something now, which I'm not sure about. Hope I'm not. Thor, I think you Drake. I. What's this now? The Drake is calling. Uh, uh, huh? Okay, yeah, the Drake is calling, but you're right next to it. Alright, sufficient nectar gathered. In some plants, this nectar is used as a pick me up spray. Yep, okay, so press up on the thing. <laughs> The deep pad, the directional pad, to use an ultra spicy spray and invigorate the, the Pikmin in your squad. It's actually pretty darn useful. We probably could have used it on a boss, to be honest. Explorers can collect it directly when they, uh, when they find it. I'm gonna see if there's actually a way to make like a shortcut to that boss fight. I feel like maybe the yellow Pikmin can reach up there. So we have enough for one ultra spicy spray, let's see. Okay, they're still collecting, but that, yeah, that's not good. We're not gonna do that. They're done collecting. Okay, so there's one guy missing. 
We're not going to let him go. He can't go missing. He can't, he can't just be... Whoops. There we go. We got everybody. We did it. We're going to end the episode with... Uh, we're going to end this session with this. This is pretty good. It, this, this turned out well. I'm happy. I'm happy. Are you happy? You guys happy? Yes, 20 minutes. Uh, yeah, I called it. <sighs> I didn't want these to be 20 minutes long. I was hoping they'd be 13 minutes, but it's not bad. This isn't a long game. And we have all our characters. We have everything. Everything's looking good. It's all in our favor. No guys left behind. We've got a sufficient food supply. This is looking good. Honestly, I... It's been so long since i played, I actually don't know how many fruit I should have at this point, but I think if we have 10 fruit, we will be able to detect, like, new area or how many fruit are in the area, something like that. And so we'll see how it works. Dusk pustules. That sounds nasty. I thought they were just grapes. this weird thing going on. I, it's allergies. Dawn pustules. That sounds still pretty nasty. Just admiring the pustules. I mean, they make the fruit look so delicious in the game, but it's like, gross. <laughs> that name. <laughs> I think the citrus one is still my favorite. Yeah, we can triangulate fruity positions. We can now use our radar to locate fruit. <laughs> uh, yeah, alright, so yeah, we, we would have 10 at this point. Um, just, I feel like... Eh, whatever. I, I said it episodes ago, it's fine. I didn't do my best and I'm suffering for it, but it's not like... The Zest Bomb! That's a great name. Look at all the little, little pores they put on this thing. Put some detail in there. Oh, stop crying! There's, there's, no, there's no reason to cry. Got it. We're good. We're good. We're great. Everything's square. We're even Stevens. The Heroine's Tear. Oh, that's an amazing game. I love it. Who here likes Mungo? Most people say Mango. I like to say Mango. Drives my sister insane. Mango. Who here likes Mungo? <laughs> I love it. It's, it's pretty tasty. Very sweet. It's got an interesting texture to it. Sort of like a banana. You have to wait till it's like ripe, so it can get soft. And like if it's not, it still has that like grainy, weird like texture. Do pears do that? You have to wait for a pear to be ripe. Otherwise, it's like this hard, sandy like thing that you're taking a huge chunk out of and putting into your mouth. Um, until we find Olimar and get our key from him. The three of us will be stuck on Yep. But I mean, what if he leaves the planet? What if he leaves with that key? Although that 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 thing did say the message was sent recently, so. We're good. Maybe. <laughs> Hopefully we bumped into him in the middle of the street, you know? to the yellow Pikmin, we were able to defeat the Behemoth Fospet. <laughs> and uh, much to everyone's surprise, we found our captain inside the beast. Wow! And can you believe our luck? We found the data from a data file from someone named Alamar, who has our cosmic drive key. But where in the world is Alamar? Where? We need that key! But everything just happened so conveniently for us, isn't that great? And conveniently, I let the mic off. 
I'll try to chop this episode up as much as I can and keep it to like 22, 23 minutes long. Oh shoot. Exploration day 7. I'm not playing day 7 today. So maybe I'll see something that I haven't realized before and just like be super duper fast at like retrieving what we need. What we need. We're so relieved to see that you're okay. Well, I have my faithful crew to thank for that, so thank you. I actually mistook that strange creature for you. You two have very similar features. Did you know that? To be honest, while trapped in that belly of that beast, I thought of only one face, Brittany. My own. Yeah, I thought you were gonna, you know, give a little comeback there, but no. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, just looking at this dialogue mostly, we're not going to start if we've got plenty of food. To see, okay, yes. We can now track fruit. So that's good. And yeah, now is the time to go back to We can, uh, yeah, we can see how many fruit are left in the stage, and there isn't much here, but we're gonna wait till something specific. <laughs> Alright, I guess that's that. This was pretty rough. I mean, since some guys died, I guess I can just do balls to the walls tactics at this point. You'll see what I mean in, like, when we go back to the tundra. Because <laughs> none of that even matters anymore. Until next time, my friends! Toodles.